Hello, my name is Ju Chen. I'm from Cochrane Automotive, and today we will show you how to check and correctly refill your tire. So the most common cause for low tire pressure is due to a leaking tire, whether it's from a puncture or a cut. Other reasons can be a damaged rim uh, from hitting a pothole or corrosion or rust buildup on the rim. A common misconception that people have when inflating their tire is inflating it to the tire pressure written on the side of the sidewall. The correct tire pressure can be found on a sticker inside your driver's side door jam. To check your tire pressure, first locate the valve on your rim. You would re remove the cap and insert the gauge. Now the key thing here is to make sure that there's no hissing noises coming from the gauge as that will change the pressure reading. To fill your tire, you would use whatever tool that you have, whether it's a portable pump or a gauge at the gas station. You would insert the gauge or the pump into the tire valve. Again, make sure that it's got a tight seal and you don't hear any hissing noises. And you would either pull the trigger or turn the pump on until the proper pressure has been achieved. And once you're done filling, if whatever you're using doesn't measure the pressure, please recheck the pressure before you close the cap. So here we have a vehicle where the front tire and the back tire are both low on pressure. As you can see, the front is visibly low, but the back looks to be normal. Most of the weight of your vehicle is in the front due to the placement of the engine and the transmission. So unless your vehicle is fully loaded, the back of the vehicle is always going to be lighter. Therefore, with the lack of weight in the back of the vehicle, you may not always be able to see when the pressure is low. With the temperature dropping, so can your tire pressure. If your tire light comes on and you're checking the pressure, it's best to do it with the tire cold. So before you drive or let it sit for a bit for it to cool down. Otherwise, once the tire cools down, the pressure can drop again and the tire light may come back on. Before winter, have all your fluids checked, including coolant, by your service professional. Cochrane Automotive is part of the CAA-approved auto repair service program which ensures quality service at fair prices.